It's RSI Day and the Polaris should now be available for players to rent and purchase as it is IAE and CIG reveals the Q&A. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for Nauti I Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, CIG provided the Q&A for the RSI Polaris. I'm just going to go straight into this one. Uh, the very first question was, what role does the RSI Polaris uh, fill in the current persistent universe? And they respond with, the Polaris is the first military capital ship to arrive in the persistent universe, setting the standard for capital ships in Star Citizen. The next question is, what's the largest ship that fits in the Polaris's hangar? They respond with, the Polaris's hangar is designed to fit an Aegis Sabre. However, there is ample space and players have already come up with interesting loading solutions yeah so the, the player is, is 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 a phenomenal ship it, it's really game changing to be quite honest um you can fit tons of ships in there depending on the sizes and uh you can really have some really interesting combinations um inside of the hangar so um, i'm curious to see the kinds of uh, builds people have with uh uh different sets of vehicles or ships within the polaris just to see just to add to the capability of the ship itself um which it, which makes it really really good all right um so the next question is what are some of the key changes uh, made to the polaris between its initial concept and its release today and they respond with there's a few changes that happened as the ship went through its concept the major highlights are extended armory nice and uh no more executive officers quarter they reworked the crew quarter into bunk rooms it also says here additional features on the bridge what are these features that uh, they didn't intend to have not too sure which what those ones are uh the next one here says large front turrets yes uh this was newly added which is nice and they changed the torpedo reload mechanism so initially we were supposed to manually load them in but uh, they, I guess they decided to just make it automated. I actually prefer it to be automated because I don't know if I want people manually loading um, torps into the Polaris uh, while in flights. That's, that kind of makes me nervous uh, given the amount of power those torps can, uh, uh, the, the amount of damage those torps can, can make, you know, so. All right, so the next question is, does the Polaris have the capability to service fighters in hangar bay, such as repair, refuel, and rearm? And they respond with, currently, there are no plans to allow this outside of manual repairing, refueling, and restocking missiles. So I think what they mean here is you're not going to be able to land in the Polaris with a, a fighter, for example, an arrow or, or a saber, and go into your moby glass and go to landing and access those services that way what i what i'm getting from this is they're going to give us the mechanics to allow us to repair we already have repair mechanics already so i believe they will extend um what we can repair pair and how we can repair on ship so that's already in refueling manual refueling so i believe um if you look into the polaris there are fuel tanks on each side and I think those fuel tanks will, will allow us to uh, take, connect it through a pipe to the actual ship. If you, mind you, every new ship that they create now has a fuel port. Every single one, they've added a fuel port if you did it, if you're not paying attention, but they, they do. All the new fighters that they create, all the new small ships all have a fuel port uh, that you can access and open, right? So I believe CIG in the future plan on giving us the ability to refuel the ships manually that way so i think that's why we have those fuel tanks inside of the hangar of the rsi polaris and the next one is restocking missiles which one we already have that functionality already so really the only one that's missing is the manual refueling uh, which is awesome all right the next question is the polaris comes with automated point defense turrets how does the weapon operate and how do the turrets choose their targets they respond with these turrets are powered by ai modules Currently a basic implementation of the blades players will be able to use in the future, which is really good. I'm looking forward to those with a rigid priority. Uh, it says incoming hostile ordinances, bombs, torpedoes, missiles, nearby hostile vehicles. 
it also says here in the future players might get more control of this at this point we're watching the feedback closely as players try them for the first time really interesting all right so the next uh, question is why are the captain's quarters locked it says to ensure the captain quarters meets the high standard we strive for we decided to hold this room for the next major update really nice really nice i'm curious to see what they intend to have in there um yeah really excited about that one uh the next question is could the room labeling and signage be reworked to make navigating more intuitive without requiring a map for example sign could be placed on the walls for better visibility or room color and a lighting contrast could be adjusted to improve clarity and they respond with signage was unfortunately missed and is something we want to go back and correct along with the release of the captain quarters so next major update probably 4.1 i'm guessing or 4.2 i'm guessing um but it's it's good it's good um it looks like we still have some things to look forward to for the rsi players as future updates and uh cannot wait to see those new updates especially the captain quarters and the ability to refuel our ships inside of the hangar before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one